All right, so I'm just here to talk real quick about the Apple uh, VR headset pricing and how that's a brilliant strategy by Apple. So as many of you know, Apple is that brand for the technologists, the trendsetters, the upper class, the pseudo rich, right? That's the Apple's brand. You see Apple MacBooks everywhere you go. You see iPhones everywhere. People have iWatches, tablets, you see all that everywhere you go. Nobody even wants to, nobody, when, when, when FEF was up, it was for iPhones. And they passed the law in New York to deter that. That's how much the brand is signifies status, okay? It's a status symbol. All these Apple products are status symbols, okay? Now, people are like, the price is going to be $34.99, okay? I've studied Apple pricing for several years because I was always against buying, spending that much for a phone. Voila, I have an iPhone. They got me too. I have a MacBook. They got me too. You know what I'm saying? But the best headset is going to come in at around $52.56. And while people are even gawking at that, what they don't understand is that the demographic customer for Apple, that's nothing to them. That's like a drop in the bucket. That's not even 2% of their discretionary income. You know what I'm saying? And for those that don't have the discretionary income, they finance it through Apple through Apple credit, which is nothing. It's like 100 bucks, 200 bucks a month. That's nothing. So, but what people don't catch is that if you take the average Apple customer with the phone, the watch, the MacBook, the AirPods, the tablet, um, I think I said the watch already. <laughs> if you add all those together... <laughs> That standard Apple customer is already wearing roughly $4,200 worth of stuff. The phone, the watch, the MacBook, the AirPods, the tablet. If you put all that together, that's $4,200 worth of stuff. So they've actually already spent that. And many of them several times over. I know people who have every generation of Apple product, every iPhone, every tablet, every MacBook, every iPod every iWatch, right? Every generation. So they've spent that 20, they say they spend that for like eight, 10 years now. Okay. So understand that strategy. It, 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 it looks like it's designed futuristic. It's very futuristic looking. And that's not even a word, but you know what I mean? And so I would say it's probably worth way more than the price that they're offering it at compared to quest 2 and because apple makes great products we got to agree they make great products their hardware is not generic their hardware is almost proprietary and it's specific and it has certain technical specifications so they make great hardware but the thing i'm pointing out is that apple customers have already been paying that so if you're going to become a new Apple customer, yeah, that price is going to be high to you. But the average Apple customer, they've already been paying $4,200 if you put all the gadgets they have together. And they all have all the gadgets. So that's all I got to say. I'm going to buy Apple stock and be laughing to the bank with Apple while everyone else is gawking. <laughs> I'm going to be enjoying the VR headset too myself <laughs> and building product for it. Because it's going to be a huge market. So, all right. That's all I got to say.